So what have you seen from the Lions defense so far? Uh, I mean, they're solid. Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, their record, you know, shows that. Uh, they've got they've got guys, uh, you know, everywhere on the defense. But, um, you know, I think 9-7 was a big part of their defense up front. Uh, you know, obviously, and, uh, you know, unfortunately for him, he's he's not out there. So um, I think that's a you know bonus for us up front. I think that we've got guys that that, that would handle it regardless. But um, I mean, they're gonna have to find a way to get home before we get open, and uh, you know, hopefully we're you know able to make that work. When you see they put up 52 points last week as an offensive player on the Packers, do you feel like that means we have to score on every possession, knowing they're capable of that? Uh, no, uh, just because I know that our defense is capable of you know, holding them to a lot less than that. Um, but I mean, our goal is always to put up as many points as possible. So, uh, I mean, going into it, we're definitely, you know, trying to put up as many points as possible. But, um, you know, we got faith in our, in our defense and, you know, it's playing complimentary ball. We know that they're going to hold it down for us. Christian, they've got a, one safety that's got five takeaways and others got four. What have you seen from them and their ability to get the ball back? Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I, I mean, there's the ball aware defense. Uh, I mean, we see it every day with our defense, just, uh, you know, being ultra ball aware, you know, pu punching at the ball. So, I mean, our goal every week is to, you know, have 100% ball security. Uh, you know, we haven't had a game with 100% ball security in, in, in a little bit now. So, that you know, that's a, that's a big focus for us this week. We just got to make sure we take care of it. Uh, don't give them opportunities to, to get it. Did you talk any trash to Savage while you were blocking him on Josh's touchdown run on Sunday? Uh, no, nah, nah, I no, didn't, I didn't say anything to him. I, I mean, it was... I think Josh said enough with the run, uh, so I don't have to say anything. But uh, yeah, no, it was it was fun battling it out with with Sab. How much pride do you take in that part of your game? Uh, I mean, a lot. Uh, I mean, it's a it's a big part of our offense, you know, running the football. Uh, so I mean, we've got to we've got to hold it down on the perimeter. Um, so I mean, it's something I, I I take a lot of pride in. If Malik does have to go on Sunday, how much more comfortable are you guys with him, given what he's already done this year? Uh, I mean, super comfortable. I mean, we were comfortable with him, you know, regardless, even even when he was, you know, coming out and handling stuff for us early in the year. Uh, but, you know, obviously that confidence in, in him builds, you know, the more and more reps that we see from him. And, uh, I mean, he's had that same confidence and poise, uh, you know, the whole time since he's been here. So uh, the confidence in him is definitely up there. Obviously, earlier this year, a lot of people didn't know what to expect when he entered the lineup after just getting here. What do you expect from him now? Uh, I mean, you know, I mean, I know that, you know, obviously Tim is doing everything he can to get back, but I mean, we're practicing the same way regardless um, of, you know, who, who could possibly be out there. Uh, but I mean, I know he approaches, he approaches every single day with the, with the same mentality. Uh, so, you know, if, if that, you know, comes to be and, and he's the one going out there on, on uh, Sunday, uh, we know he's going to get the job done. Hey, Christian, getting back to the run game for a second, what, what's impressed you the most about the Josh, Jake, Josh Jacobs game? Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I think that he's, uh, you know, shown the same things that, you know, I've been seeing uh, from him as a running back, just, a, you know, a physical back who can, you know, break any tackle and, uh, you know, make big plays. But, I mean, obviously, just seeing it in person, uh, it's it's a lot, you know, different. It's a lot, you know, crazier. So, I, I mean, I just applaud him for his his toughness and his physicality. Uh, I tell him all the time, it's, it's really hard blocking for him because you never know if he's going to, you know, go down or, or, you know, break a tackle. So, it's hard to, you know, pick a side and, and just be able to block for that long. Uh, but, I mean, it's it's a blessing to have a running back that can, you know, make big plays at any moment. So, uh, he's a huge part of our offense. He was telling me he hurt his ankle before his big double jump cut touchdown or whatever. When you see a guy willing to put it all on the line on a bum ankle and really working it the way he was, despite that, what, what's that tell you about him as a football player? Uh, I mean, it, it tells me exactly what I've seen all along. Uh, I mean, I, I don't think that... Um, you know, I can point out another person on this team who, who practices harder than, than he does, who runs harder than he does, uh, you know, in practice and, and jog throughs and walk throughs. I mean, we see, we see it every day. Uh, I mean, it definitely, you know, gives you a little bit, you know, more respect for a guy when, you know, he's battling through something. But, uh, I mean, just the way he, the way he works every single day, uh, I mean, we, we, we see it every day. So it, you know, just, you know, proves to us what we see all the time. Christian, after uh, Sunday's game, Tucker, it was almost like he was frustrated. He was talking about what the play of the offense feeling like. They're not always helping out the defense. I guess, how close do you feel like the offense is playing to the level that you guys feel like it's capable of? Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I feel like we're really close. I feel like we just, you know, put ourselves in some bad situations. 
uh, from time to time. Uh, you know, we know there's going to be mistakes. Uh, we just got to try to avoid as many as we can. You know, the pre snap, the pre snap stuff, and uh, you know, the stuff that you know is really just you know fundamental. You know, uh, you know. Just, you know, for me specifically, you know, hands being too wide on blocks and everything. And, you know, I mean, we can't have, you know, penalties like that, you know, negating negating big runs and stuff. So, I mean, we just got to avoid the stuff that we can control. Uh, you know, there's going to be stuff that happens that, you know, we can't control during the game. But, uh, I mean, we got to try to, you know, minimize the stuff that, you know, the self-inflicted wounds. Christian, uh, Sunday marks the midway point to your season game number nine. You've played just one NFC North game so far. You have a ton starting Sunday in Ligonti. Is it kind of go time now knowing how tough this division is? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I Hundred um, percent. I mean, I don't think there's any, you know, added, you know, pressure or, you know, we're not thinking about it anymore. Because um, I mean, we're always obviously, you know, trying to go one and zero. But I mean, this is a, this is a big week for us. When you know, we want to go into into the bye week where you know we can recover and get our bodies back and everything. Uh, you know, number one in the division. Uh, you know, our first goal is to win the division. Uh, so I mean, it's a it's a huge uh, you know game for us this week, and you know, obviously going on uh, week in and week out for the rest of the season. Uh, but we're excited for it. Christian, I know you guys are going to ride with and support whatever quarterback is out there for you next Sunday. But what did it mean today to get Jordan back out there? I mean, it means a lot, uh, you know, obviously just knowing that he's battling through through stuff. Uh, um, you know, obviously we know he's going to be ready, ready regardless. You know, if he didn't practice all weekend and was able to go on, on Sunday, I, I know that he'd still be ready. But, uh, you know, it's always just nice to get the, get the you know, reps with, uh, you know, with your quarterback. So, uh, I mean, it's exciting. Uh, but, you know, like you said, you know, we're going to be ready regardless. And, I mean, him being out there too, like his energy didn't seem much different. Mm -hmm. Super happy, excited to be out there for normal. The only thing that's different is the sleeve he has on. Like, mm -hmm. is that ever surprising for you guys at all, just to see that he can come back and just be the same old Jordan like that? Uh, I mean, no. Uh, I think that you know we've you know been around our guys long enough to you know 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 who we are, and uh, you know I think that's exactly who he who he is as, as a guy and as a football player. Uh, but I mean, yeah, it's, it's always nice to have that energy back out there. Uh, but I mean, we know who he is. Um, you know, he's battled through, you know, injuries earlier in the season. And, and you know, we've seen how he's reacted to that. Um, so it's, it, I mean, it's exciting just to see him out there. But I mean, it's who we've seen, you know, since, since the moment he, you know, became a quarterback for us.